guys, it's Michelle. Welcome back to my little channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys an excessive amount of shopping that I've been doing these past two to three months. And I have Yasmin to join me. She's in the background. <laughs> Anyways, it's going to be a long video, so I suggest you guys get yourself something delicious to eat or drink. For instance, Yazzy Boo. She's in the back, you know. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. So the first thing I'm going to start with is what I'm wearing because most of everything that I'm wearing I actually just recently bought. So this shirt right here, it says small awesome things all matter or are all important. And uh, I got this one from Zara. And the lipstick that I'm wearing, I just purchased from Sephora and it's American Doll. And it's my new favorite red lipstick. I mean, my OG is always going to be Ruby Woo, but this one's just like, I've been wearing it like crazy. And the accessory that I have on is this watch that I got from Michael Kors, and it's my new obsession as well. This is like my favorite accessory at the moment. Okay, the angle's a little bit closer and different because I just had to grab myself a chair because I knew it was going to take forever to finish this video, and I think I was going to anyways. Another accessory that I want to show you guys is this moon necklace that I got. I've been wearing this one ever since I bought it from Amazon actually and I'll put the link below. I'll try to link everything again like I did in my previous haul if I can. Um, but it's a very small little itty bitty moon and it's very dainty and it's perfect for everyday wear because it's sterling silver and so far it's the condition is still really good and I've had it for two months now. so. Yeah. So from Zara, I I just got myself like a basic t-shirt. I had forgot about this one, yes. Just a basic, like super basic black t-shirt. And I just don't have that many basics, so I really needed something like this. It's long-sleeved black, and it's actually on the crop side, but not too cropped. So I thought it was perfect. So from Zara, I also got myself this awesome, super distressed denim jacket. And I think it's very different than any other denim jacket that I've ever owned because A, it doesn't have a collar. And like I said, it's distressed from the pockets, the hand area. But yeah, this jacket's super distressed and it makes it so different and unique. And that's why I absolutely love this oversized denim jacket. Also from Zara, I got myself this gorgeous leather jacket. I cannot live without it anymore. It's been my new obsession. Charlie Marley! It's been my new obsession. I know it's already getting a little bit warmer, but we still have those chillier nights still, so I've been really digging my new leather jacket. It's definitely a lot more edgy than any other jackets I own, uh, but it has a lot of zippers, which I like. The quality of it feels really, really good. The back of it just has like the belt coming through it and it, it, it's not too expensive either. This one was $70. Okay, it's affordably expensive for something that's going to last you a long time as opposed to like 100 plus leather jackets that are out there. Um, but yeah, I did go to Michael Kors for a second time and I got myself a gold watch. I noticed that they switched the packaging from that brown one to this gorgeous white silver one, which I think is a big plus. Um, but this watch right here, I don't know exactly what the style of it is, but I will put it in the down bar. But this one has like, this one has like the white face on it. Let's see if I can show that to you guys. Um, but it's gold. It's like really, really big. It's like that boyfriend watch type of style but that's all that I bought from Michael Kors so next I'm going to show you guys are the little things that I have bought from Target first of all I have to start with this album that I've been playing in my car for a really long time now and it's from Camila Cabello I absolutely love her I think she's so beautiful she's just so like woman inspiring and 
I just really, really love her voice. But for sure, I've been listening to Never Be The Same over and over and over and over and over because it's just a really beautiful song. I wait. If I really like an artist, I wait until I can purchase the album and listen to it in my car as opposed to like on Apple Music or Spotify. I don't know, it just feels different to me for some reason. So yeah, I've been blasting this like crazy in my car. Oh, this is actually from CVS. I thought I bought it at Target, but it's a CVS right here. I was almost going to lie to you guys, but I didn't. Anywho, so this is the Lash Paradise Voluminous, no wait, Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara from L'Oreal. And it's like been the most hyped mascara I feel or drugstore mascara. And I finally got my hands on it, so I'm excited to see what this one does to my eyelashes. So I have tons of beauty sponges, but one of my favorites has to be from Real Techniques. I think it works just as great as a beauty blender. And the beauty blender is like $20 at Sephora when you can just get this one for like, I don't know, less than $10. And I think it works really, really good. But this one, the reason why I got it is because I'm going to be traveling soon. And it has this really cute, like travel case and um yeah i just thought i needed it and you can never go wrong with having a lot of sponges because they're very useful for a lot of things so i'm really big into writing things down and having a journal for myself and having just basically a planner like i love to organize myself and everything i do so i bought myself a new planner for 2018 and I first of all I got these stickers because um, I like decorating them and this one has like the days of the week it has like the day of the weeks and to do urgent paid receipts taxes travel it's just really cute to decorate your planner and make it more fun and spice it up I'm really happy with this journal that I bought or not journal agenda um, it's black with with gray and hints of pink I think yeah like really small pink details but it has like the month tabs and just a lot of cool stuff and I know I'm a little bit behind in writing in it because we're already in the mark wait in the month of April but I mean I have used it really needed to upgrade mine because my because obviously it's a new year so this is my new journal I mean my new agenda I keep saying journal it's an agenda so as far as Nordstrom goes, I did buy my favorite toner, which is the Mario Badescu toner. And it looks like this. It's part of my skincare regimen. So I just needed a refill. And then I can't believe I finally, finally had the chance to buy this beautiful Chanel bronzer that I've been wanting for probably three years now. Um, but I finally said it's time to get it and I felt like I deserved it and yeah so it's the Soleil Tan de Chanel Chanel bronzer um it is a cream bronzer so I and I, I know that this has like millions of great reviews so I'm really stoked to use it like I can't wait I'm just kind of afraid to dip my brush in there because I feel like it's so delicate and pretty and beautiful and um it's my new baby I did buy another thing from Target I forgot to show you guys. Oh god, it's heavy because I already filled it up. It's this file filer, right? That's what it's called, a filer. I think it's so pretty. It's marble with gold detailing. And yeah, I basically really needed a spot to put all my important documents. So this one's the one. So I did the most miniature shopping at Bath & Body Works. Like miniature, I mean all I bought was hand sanitizers and a car set. That's it. <laughs> so this air, what is it? Air freshener vent clip. It's really cute. It's marble, again, with the marble. And yeah, I need to put that in my car soon. And then I just bought the fill, the the refiller thing. Um, this, the scent that I got is Noir, which stands for black in French. I think. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty positive. And um, obviously it's just to put it in here. And I got myself some hand sanitizers because I freaking love the way they smell there. The stress relief is my favorito. It has... A, 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 <laughs> how do you say it? Eucalyptus? Eucalyptus and spearmint. And it smells... 
all done. It smells so good. Which reminds me of my childhood because I used to live in Eucalyptus Street a long time ago. Anywho, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. I should be knowing it. But the another one that I got was <laughs> cucumber melon and resting. Oh my god, I never even realized what this said. I just grabbed it because it was pink. It's resting beach face. I should give this one to Yasmin. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> just kidding. I have one too. Without wanting to have it, you still get judged from it. Yeah, right? But it says resting beach face, but you know what they were trying to say. Now, I did go to Morphe because how crazy and how lucky are we that we have a Morphe in the Cerritos Mall, which is like five minutes away from where I live and I think that's awesome because I used to drive to Burbank and I used to drive I think they opened one in LA too but now it's like five ten minutes away from me and it's freaking amazing and I'm just so happy I cannot believe I have a Morphe store in my mall but I do I mean the bag they gave me was kind of eh but it was the first time I went and I got some brushes I actually went to Morphe twice the second time they gave me a better kind of okay bag you know I feel like I'm really huge when it comes to packaging and so that's why I kind of mentioned that but I mean it doesn't really matter but you know it's just it's just me being me so anyway the brushes that I got the first time that I went is I, I feel like I needed a new setting powder one but this one is like a tapered brush and it's the Morphe Y3 in the gold collection I've never bought any of it from their gold collection, so I'm pretty excited. It feels really soft, and as we all know, probably everybody on YouTube knows that Morphe has super inexpensive but high, high quality brushes that it's like mind-blowing how, I don't know, they're just so inexpensive, uh, inexpensive, but again, great quality. So I have this one. <laughs> I did buy myself... A little bit of a bigger concealer brush here to kind of um, blend my concealer and stuff like that because I do have a, a, a smaller one than this one I don't know what it's called um, this one's a little bit bigger so I wanted to try that out and this one's the morphe 335 335 I said it's so like mm, I don't know I also got myself the e27 from morphe with the this collection from Morphe, the Elite collection, is like my favorite. It's a lit. It's probably like two dollars more than all the other ones, but it's really good. Like I don't know, I love it. But this one's the E27, and it's just a big fluffy eyeshadow blending brush. And then I have a pencil brush. Um, this one's in. Uh, this, this is the E18 pencil brush, and it looks like that. I've had this one before. But I actually lost this brush in San Diego at a hotel a long, long time ago. Long story short, I lost it in San Diego at the hotel. And I remember that it, I lost it there because I remember saying, oh, I dropped it. I'll pick it up when we come back. And I never picked it up, so that's how I remember it. But anywho, moving on. This brush is the E36. And I freaking love little detailed brushes like this because the smallest ones are the ones that just work the best for me. This one I use for the inner corners and like underneath the brows and stuff like that. And I already have one, but I feel like I needed one more just because I freaking love it. So I got another one. The second time I went to Morphe, I just went in for a setting spray. And oh my goodness, I swear this setting spray has been... No, it, I think it has to be one of my f favorite setting sprays. As, except for the MAC Fix Plus, you can never go wrong with that one. But the, the way that this one feels is so misty and... feels so refreshing like it is called continuous setting mist so and it's super inexpensive again by morphe so yeah but from forever 21 surprisingly i only bought one thing from what i remember unless i forgot to show something and it's this bag right here let me just take it off where I'm sorry. this bag okay seriously i'm obsessed with it it's very edgy and you guys know i love that vibe so black it's clear like plastic clear transparent obviously you guys can see that but I just freaking think it's so adorable it's the perfect size I think it looks super cute like when you put like a, a vibrant wallet in there 
and it's like popping out and it looks super cute and then you have like your vlog camera in there I don't know it's just I'm I'm really happy that I bought this even though I felt like it was a little too expensive for a simple bag like this but I, I thought it was worth every penny because I love it <laughs> so as far as H&M goes I have I have this super dainty necklace like this it just has a little diamond in the middle of it it's very simple and yeah I think it look really really cute with any outfit I am like I said I mentioned I'm going to Europe which I'm super excited about I'm going in three weeks so I really don't know what the weather's like I feel like every time I check it's pouring rain or just cold like I mean not cold like warm like 60s low 70s raining I've never been to Europe my sister's out there right now but I'm either way I'm buying myself like small sweaters like night sweaters or something this one I picked up it has like the almost turtleneck with the super like bell sleeves and I definitely feel like it's more on the crop side so yeah I think it's really really simple I'm really excited to style this with like black high-waisted jeans and some nice booties and you're good to go for a night out um, also from H&M I did buy a denim jacket which is like freaking cute. I have two oversized denim jackets so I thought it was time that I bought myself a fitted, um, I keep saying leather jacket, a denim jacket. It's more on the light wash side and yeah like I said it's a fitted denim jacket that I really really needed. I mean let's be real I don't need none of the stuff that I bought but you know everything everyone has something they like to do and for me I love shopping so might be a problem of mine but I feel like I don't splurge often just sometimes and the next shirt I'm gonna show you guys is the black shirt that I've been featuring throughout the whole try on haul which is this one right here this shirt has come so in handy because it's just so thin but it looks like you just I don't know it looks very effortless but so nice at the same time it has like the lace trimming with like really small silver studs and you can like I've been doing in the whole haul you can just throw on any cute jacket with this shirt because it's so it's just so thin so any jacket you wear I just feel like it doesn't look too bulky or anything if that even makes sense I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I've been buying at the thrift store my favorite thrift store is actually in um, OC in Orange County and it's called OC Goodwill Boutique. The only thing that makes a difference or apart from the Goodwills is the aesthetic in there. It definitely looks like boutique obviously by the name and I don't know it's really really nice in there. The staff is really nice and I feel like it's a lot more organized than other Goodwills even though I still shop at other Goodwills but this one's just my favorite thrift store ever and like I said the price is about the same. I mean there is a lot of like what I'm about to show you is mostly like jackets that are on like the $25 and up range but I think it's so worth it because the things you find there are definitely like a steal like they're just anyways <sighs> oh I hope the video has not been more than 20 minutes but if it is like I said I'm sure you guys got ugh, I'm sure you guys grabbed yourself a drink or a snacky a snack a rooney right snack rooney snack snack <laughs> Um, this one right here is one of my favorites because red is my favorite so this one's actually from Dior and I think it's so pretty I'm pretty sure it was four dollars and yeah I just think it's super cute I love going to thrift stores now before I never did but now I'm just like they have good stuff you just have to know how to look and what to buy there and yeah and I did buy this cute thing um, I bought it because of my, I feel like I want to take it for my makeup brushes and just like fold it and you're good to go. But this one was $3.99 as well and I just think it's really cute. It's simple but I really needed like a makeup brush holder so I got this one. Um, another makeup bag I got is this one right here and this one's from Lancome. And I got another Lancome one. This one I really, really like. Um, but they're like literally brand new and $4. Like I think they're so pretty. And this one again is my favorite because it's like that glossy black. 
with the gold detailing. Black and gold go really well together. And then I did buy this one. This one's really out of my comfort zone. Like these colors are a little too vibrant for me. But I love the size of it. And I know for sure that I'm going to need it for my trip. Like for the bigger stuff. Um, and this one's by Estee Lauder. And I don't know what the heck it says on there. Lily something. But it's an Estee Lauder one. And again, they're like basically brand new. Like they have all the little stickers on there. Like and this one's $2.99. Now, I've never bought anything from Zawful, the website Zoff, Zawful, Zawful, I did pick up these glasses right here, which are like those, I don't know how to explain these, just, they're like retro small glasses, and they have like the tortoise um, print on the side, and they're basically, I mean, I just bought them because they're really, really cute. Do they protect me from the sun? No, not really. Not at all, actually. Because they're more to wear, like, right here, you know what I mean? Not, like, actually. Like, if I actually put them, like, on my eye, they're going to look horrible. Check it out. <laughs> but if you just slightly, slightly put them down a little bit, they look really, like, trendy and cute and, you know, fashionable. Um, so from TJ Maxx, I did get one thing, and it's a sleep mask that I'm planning to take. To the airplane with me wait on the airplane with me so that's it from TJ Maxx so I did buy one item from Marshall's I've never shopped there but hey I got myself this which is a really cool speaker um, it's by Billboard Bluetooth water resistant wireless speaker and I really just needed one because I don't have one and um, it looks like this it's not charged I will show you guys it has like a flashlight which I think it's pretty cool it's plus so, yeah, it's just a regular waterproof speaker. Is it really, really loud? Not really, but it's it's doable for my room. But that's about it. I did forget to mention... Wait. I completely went from from thrift store to Zoffel to Marshalls, and I still have more thrift store things that I've bought. Like, this brush right here, it's a brand new Sonia Kashuk makeup brush. This is actually for foundation, and this one was $2.00. And it's brand new, like I said. And, yeah, I mean, like I said, that boutique has a lot of cute stuff. And then also from the thrift store that I have behind me is this Chanel-inspired bag. It's black with gold, and it's nice and soft, velvet material. And, yeah, it just looks really fashionable, and I'm really excited. I feel like I'm going to definitely take this one to my trip. It's very, very cute. And, like I, like I said, it has, like, that quilted Chanel-inspired material or style of purse like I mentioned before I didn't want to buy like small sweaters in case it is colder in the nighttime in Italy so I have this one that I also got from the thrift store this one's from David Biden or Biden it's Buffalo that's all I know and it's just like a basic gray sweater I don't think I'll try on this one because it's just way too hot right now or maybe who knows um, but it's just a really soft um, knitted gray salt and pepper sweater what I'm about to show you is really like this is winter stuff and I did like get a good use out of this one right here I think it's super cute the leopard print is back or it was back this winter and yeah I, I wanted to show you guys this one because I did thrift it at that same store maybe a couple more than two months ago but it's this one right here it's like crop top almost and I just think it's really, really, really good quality. It's by the brand Ink, which is International Concepts, I think, yeah. And yes, it's full leather. I would never buy anything that's real, real fur because I just wouldn't live with myself. I just can't. But like I said, this one's really cute. Again, for the winter or those colder spring days, I mean, spring nights. And then this one's really, really like winter style. I mean, I feel like not even in California, this is even like, that doable because it doesn't get that cold but still it's really gorgeous this coat I had to fight a lady for I almost fought a lady for because she was giving me like uh, like oh I saw it first I was on my way to go get it but then are you gonna take it and I'm like anyways <laughs> anyways it's a long beautiful coat yes my favorite color is red but I never wear something so 
like completely head to toe red looking. This is definitely going to be out of my comfort zone because I feel like it's super extra and it's super like out there. But I feel like it looks really, really fancy and gorgeous. And yeah, I'm really excited to use this maybe next winter or I don't know. The occasion will happen, but I cannot let go of this opportunity. I think this one was $25 or $30, something like that, which I think is a, a great steal. The brand is Sherix. I think that's how you pronounce it. So I think we're almost nearly done. I know, like I said, it was going to be a long freaking video, but here I am. So... I did buy two passport holders from Amazon. I still can't decide which one I want to take. Like, but I feel like I'm leaning a little bit towards... I don't know, I can't decide. But this one I got from Amazon, and I'll link it down below. Marble with the passport, the United States passport logo on top. The inside is not too major, it just has two flaps to put your passport in. No duh, it's a passport holder. <laughs> And this red one is a little bit more sturdy, or it feels a lot, like, better. I don't know, for some reason. But it's, like, full leather, has the passport writing in gold. And the flaps actually have where you can put, like, your credit card and IDs. And also the flap for the passport. So I feel like I'm leaning towards this one. But the aesthetic on this one is really, like, you know. So we shall see which one I use, which one I take with me. Okay, and last but not least, I have my last store, which is Sephora. I mean, I don't think it would be a huge haul without Sephora if you're a makeup lover like me. <laughs> so yeah, haven't you noticed that? Mm -hmm. I'm like, so yeah, so yeah, so yeah. I didn't realize that until I started editing that I say that so much, and I'm just like, so yeah. So yeah, um, I mean it, my Sephora bag ripped, but let's dig in here because I'm super excited. Oh my god, I forgot to show you guys one more thing that I bought from Nordstrom or Topshop actually to be department like specific. This top. It's my favorite like freaking buy I feel like clothes wise I, I, except for the leather jacket. That's like my favorite clothing item that I've bought, but this top um I actually got it one size bigger because they didn't have my size, but I couldn't let go of this beautiful opportunity of clothing piece. <laughs> so, and I hate waiting online. Like, I hate waiting. If I already have myself set on something and they tell me, well, we could order it online for you. It's like, no, I want it now. <laughs> like, I'm not going to wait. So I bought it um, one size bigger, which it's okay because it's supposed to be a flowy type shirt. So... Yeah, anyways, it's polka dot. Why in the heck am I wearing polka dot? I never... Polka dot. Polka dot? I don't know. I never thought I would wear polka dot again, but it grew into me. It grew into me. Is that even a thing? I grew into me? I think I'm becoming delusional because this video has been so long. And I also had a Red Bull. Okay, drum roll, please. I have finally made it to my last store which is Sephora. I did repurchase these right here, which is my Bio Peel Gauze Peeling Lemon by Neogen Dermology. Dermology, and I did exp I did talk about these in a previous haul, but they're basically exfoliating wipes, and I really got them to target my dark spots that I have on my cheeks, which it has definitely helped, and they just feel really bomb after you use them. Like, your skin feels like a baby's butt. <laughs> um repurchased my purity because it's my favorite face wash still since like 2011 or 12 I don't know I've been using it for a really long time and I have been wanting these for a really long time again from purity it's basically that in a wipe most all the time I'm running out the door and I don't have the time to wash my face so it's like this in a wipe and you're good to go at least for a, just a few days out of the week because skincare is important people skincare is important so I got like little mini stuff because I'm not really big into like poor things thank goodness thanks to my mama thanks to my papa that I don't really have like large pores which I'm really grateful for but I do have them I feel like everybody has pores so I got these little mini me's, which this one actually, I'm giving it away to somebody. I actually bought it for her, but she's been waiting for two months because I haven't filmed this haul. So <laughs> here it is. And then I got the Smashbox photo finish one. So little cute minis. And 
I did buy myself another lip balm from Smith's. This is like my favorite lip balm brand. Okay, so then when you buy the little mini me's things, like right when you check out, you get this free travel bag little pouch thing, which is super cute. So I had already mentioned this liquid lipstick, which is the one that I'm wearing, so I don't really have to swatch that one for you, but it is from Anastasia Beverly Hills, which I'm pretty sure I did not mention, so there it is. I bought two concealers, or repurchased two concealers, so Tarte and Naked Skin Concealer. My shades are medium light warm, and for Tarte, it's a light medium for the Tarte shaped concealer. Another one... Another beautiful, vibrant, classic red is 01, yeah, 01, it's called, oh, did you know this one's made in Italy? How did I didn't know that? How cute. Um, but it's 01 from Sephora. It's, it's just as beautiful as this red one. If anything, it's like a dupe for it, and it's just a little bit less, and I feel like Sephora brand is very, like, underrated, and it's, this is freaking bomb. It doesn't feel matte. Like, I know it's supposed to be a liquid lipstick, but it feels so hydrating. It's just, it's beautiful. I did repur repurchase Ashton, which I featured so many times, so I'm not going to really swatch that one. But it's more on the orange-brown side liquid lip. And, it, again, it's from Anastasia. And I feel like all these I just repurchased. I do have another Lolita that I bought. They were always out of stock, and it's about time that they're not out of stock. Um, so I got Lolita, and it's a very like mauvey, pink undertoned, super famous liquid lipstick. I'm pretty sure everybody knows about this liquid lipstick. It was so three years ago, I think. I don't know. Who knows? But it was on and popping, so it has to be a repurchase. It just, it's a must. It's just a really gorgeous universal color. So, I, oh my god, I'm down to my last item of this haul. I can't believe it. I'm finally almost done, which is a lip gloss. I purchased, where is it? Oh my god, there it is. Uh, I actually bought myself a Marc Jacobs, I was gonna say liquid lipstick, um, lip gloss because my lip gloss is good. My lip gloss is popping. And I love you. What you know about me? What you, what you know about me? Okay, I'm just, okay. I'm delusional, people. I'm delusional by this time. But anyways, uh, Marc Jacobs, and it's in the color Love Buzz. Yeah. Love Buzz. And I'm kind of leaning on maybe possibly returning it. I'm not sure. I felt like at the store I was really convinced. And now I feel like it's too iridescent-ish, if that's even a word. Um, but I don't know. I feel like it's beautiful, but... It's just, I mean, the quality of Marc Jacobs is, like, one of the best lip gloss brands out there. I mean, I wonder it was, like, what, 25 bucks or $30, but seriously, it's so worth it. Like, lip glosses from them. Wow. But I think this completes, finally, this haul. Thank you guys so much for you watching. Um, round of applause to those who made it to the very end or those who skipped around it's okay at least you guys are watching my video which is awesome so thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day or evening take care and i hope to see you guys in my next video and yeah i don't think i have to make any disclaimers other than the fact that live life to the fullest if you want to buy yourself a five dollar setting spray do it if you want to buy yourself a thirty dollar Mark Jacobs lip gloss, do it. Materialistic things don't matter. Money. I know I was getting a little emotional, so I had to hit pause. But oh my <laughs> god, you really were crying. I know you. Because like when you put so much hard work, like you freaking bust your butt out working hard to get the things that you want. I just I don't know. I um, but yeah, I know these things don't cost thousands of dollars, and but for me personally, like this is. It's a luxury to have a $20 liquid lipstick for me. You know, like, I don't know. It's just, I don't know why I'm ranting about this. But I think I'm done. Thank you guys so much for watching again. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Say bye, Yazzie Boo. I don't know why I keep calling you Yazzie Boo. You always do now. Um, another accessory that I wanted to show you guys. 
It's okay. Okay, I'm gonna continue on with that. Dinora, can you keep it down? I'm making a video. Also from Zara, I got myself, myself, must. Also from Zara, all. <laughs> oh my god. Also from Zara, I got myself. Why does Charlie always want to go in when I'm filming? Charlie, no. Also from Zara, I got myself this. Charlie. Oh my god. Take care of myself. What? It has. <laughs> How do you say it? Eucalyptus? Eucalyptus? It's a plant. Or is it eucalyptus? <laughs> What's eucalyptic? What? Mango colada. Mango. Who's going to Vegas next week? Who's going to Vegas next week? We are. We are. We are. Because Yasmin's birthday is coming up. Okay. A little bit of a bigger. What the? Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, down on Santa Claus Lane. Is that even how the song goes here? Yeah. Okay. <laughs>